what, yeah. what did you find is like when you transitioned from high school to middle school, what yeah. was like, what was like, was it, what was like one of the biggest changes for you going through that process? So I grew up thinking that it would be high school and I'd be the high school coach and that was it. And yeah. I thought that I could relate to those people. So those kids, and I did. However, when I got to middle school, I would always say two things. I would always say that middle school is the last best chance for a kid. And the reason why I say that is, is because if you look at the adolescent developmental structure of a child, they usually go into, let's say, sixth grade, where their moms and dads and their significant others and their guardians want them to still be friends with everybody. So sixth right. grade is I'm friends with everybody. You then get into seventh grade. You start to develop your own identity. You start to say, maybe I like these kids better than those kids, or maybe those kids are bad and mean, and I don't want to sit with them. So you right. start to struggle. And then when you get to eighth grade, you usually have your well-defined friend group, and then there's only infighting with them. But by the time you leave 14 years old, about when you leave eighth grade, you have all those qualities that make you usually who you are, and they're pretty much solidified. So the role of the middle school educator, the role of adults in middle school, is to make sure kids always have an adult they can talk to, is to make sure you guide them through the adolescent changes, but it's also to try to instill in them the things like personal responsibility, respect, caring, and all of those pieces and how to work together so that as they get older, that can already be embedded. And then in the high school, you improve upon what you have. Like I never, a lot of times I didn't stress the pure academics of it, although obviously Massachusetts we right. do, but it was more about the connections and the self-identity so that when they leave your school in eighth grade, they have the skills necessary to become individuals who can think, who can act, who can be respectful, and then who can learn along the way because they have those inherent skills already.